I didn't want to wake you up, but I really want to show you something. Where the Wild Things Are is the timeless story about Max, a reckless boy who doesn't like to follow rules. When he upsets his mother one night, he runs away to his imagination, finding his way to the world of the Wild Things. Once there, he becomes their leader and tries to create a home for them to live in. King, what's your first daughter of business? It's the Wild Rumpus Star! Tensions begin to ensue for the Wild Things as they all vie for Max's attention. Each Wild Thing is essentially a form of Max's emotion, relaying to him how childish some of his antics really were. That's Douglas. I count on him for everything. This is Judith. He don't really need to know me. Kind of a downer. That's Alexander. I hate this tree! Oh! Well, he just wants attention. Don't <laughs> give him the satisfaction. The film suddenly turns into a puppet-filled version of Lord of the Flies, how they separate and become savage. In essence, the story is classic. It's about growing up and the adventures and challenges you go through to get there. Director Spike Jones from Being John Malkovich and Adaptation really handles childhood in the purest form, making the viewer reminisce with their own past. The Jim Henson Creature Shop put a lot of work into the Wild Thing bodysuits, and it shows. The cinematography is gorgeous, and it looks like an independent film, which is a good thing. The screenplay is well written, making a 48-page book seem poetic. After 10 years in development, was this film worth the wait? I say yes. It's bold, it's beautiful, it pulls at your heartstrings and doesn't let up. The story is about growing up, and I'm sure we can all look at this film and get something from it. I give Where the Wild Things Are five paws out of five. For Waterfront Weekly, I'm Joel Doucette. Oh, oh.